and I'm going to read a poem that was composed by our neighbor and friend, Dawn McNally. She lives right across the street from my grandmother, and as you'll be able to tell, she's gotten to know her pretty well. Unfortunately, Donna couldn't make it here today, and so I have the honor of reading it to you all. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Joyce is turning 70. What? Shut up. <laughs> Reflecting on your seventh decade of life, you sit back and begin to ponder life's big questions. Have you really seen it all? Heard it all? Done it all? Too bad you can't remember it all. <laughs> Are you really older but wiser? Hmm, how does your computer figure into all that? <laughs> Is there really anything left to learn the hard way? How much healthy choice ice cream can you eat before it's no longer a healthy choice? <laughs> then of course, the big one. Why am I here? But you figured that one out all by yourself. You're here to keep your doctors in business. <laughs> Between hair, nails, and doctor's appointments, your calendar is full. Looking good is mandatory, and getting old is full. Well, darling, you look marvelous. Jaja has nothing on you. Your necklace and earrings always match, because nothing less would do. Back in the day when you were younger, it was poodle skirts, saddle shoes, and rock and roll. Now that you're getting older, it's heating pads, ortho shoes, and go check that mole. <laughs> what doesn't leak is drying up. Your memory has gone south. You wander aimlessly from room to room with a toothpick in your mouth. <laughs> Flipping it from side to side and wondering why you're there. Finally, you get up and call, Tom! Tom! Why am I here? <laughs> you have a suitcase of pills for all of your ills, and keeping them straight is a drama. But honey, it's not all that bad. Look what you have to look forward to. Medicinal marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. 